Hello everyone, welcome to the first Enduro World Series of 2021. We're here at the Met EWS Val de Fasa Trentino. Joining me for course preview today, not only Rory Cunningham, but Rich Payne. Rich, this is a massive relief for me that there is somebody else to chase Rory down. How are you at falling down left shaft? Uh, well, we'll find out after today, I think. Hopefully he takes it a little easy on my first uh, course preview, but no, I'm sure he'll be fine. Let me shock you, he won't. No. Right. <laughs> Come on, Let's Rick. have a look at the stages we're going to tackle today. Four stages for the first round of this year's championship. 32 kilometres in length and 2,400 metres of descending. We're going to take a look at two of the key stages, and I think we should go by the lift. Let's start, Rory. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. Titans, you said the other night, one of the best trails you've ever ridden. Should we start there? Yeah, and I don't say that lightly, Rick. It is an absolutely amazing stage. Let's hit the ground running. Let's go. Enjoy. Yeah, hope this goes well for you. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm going into battle following. Do you want to lead, Rich? Huh? Do you want to lead? No, mate. I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> if anything happens, I'm only a couple of minutes to maybe 10 <laughs> minutes behind you. So, um... oh, God. So this stage was in the race last time we were here back in 2019. At least we can still hear it, I suppose. These big, loamy compressions already. He's gone me already. He's gone, look. That's it. I can hear commotion behind me already. You can see the dirt. It's just so fresh and it's just perfect. A little bit of moisture in between, but not much. Just loads of grip. Nice high line there. Let's get back up the speed. Oh, big compressions. Proper Lomas. I'm liking this. Guys, one of the best starts to any trail I've ridden, and it feels ridiculous to have stopped <laughs> already. But worth pointing out is this stuff. Look how blown out and dry this is, and Ruri. It's these kind of conditions that you've got to think really favour a, a rider like Richie Rude, who's used to drier sort of uh, terrain. Yeah, he was dominant here last time and he loves it when it's dry and blown out. I think his strength really comes into effect. But as the week goes on, you might find that the main line becomes too rough or choppy or maybe even blows out an outside of turns and you'll have riders maybe looking for alternate options such as up on that bank over that rock to open this next that's turn not, out. That's not uh, right. Yeah, i got to say, that's a, that's a fairly high line. I get where you're coming from but it's very high up there and it's pretty tricky to get onto. Do you know what's good about this bit? We get to say, go on then. <laughs> Are any bets? How much? Lunch? Lunch. Lunch. Deal. This is actually going to be the pro stage for race two on Friday evening. So in total, we'll race this stage three times this week. She's loose and dusty. I know racers love that. I certainly do. Big inside lines. And it's just linking these corners together. The more momentum you can carry down these straights, the better. Oh, that's a tight one. Nice route on the exit to catch the speed. Get that up here. You see all these turns, there's just so much scope to move about on the trail. You can literally go where you want. Nice high line you can see up on the grass here. Open up this next corner. Ruri, we've all just ridden down the outside of this rock, but <laughs> You can tell these guys have had an EWS before because <laughs> they're getting creative with their taping, aren't they? You've just seen a big option here that might actually be worth time. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth time, Rick. There's this big kind of natural rock on the inside of this corner. The, the line we all rode kind of goes round it and you've almost got to kind of tiptoe around it, but you can't lean in because the rock's actually so big that it sticks it onto the trail. But it allows for this inside line where you actually kind of go off and over the rock. Um, it's not a completely vertical that you could roll down it so you can ensure that you're going to slow down enough to make the brakes to the next <laughs> corner, but I can guarantee you the fastest, the fastest rider is going to be coming into this, setting up on this nice high line behind us, straightening up, and they'll be jumping from the top to the bottom and getting around the corner, no bother. It's to getting around the corner at the bottom that I think would trip <laughs> me up, but I'm, quite, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you do it. Right, I'm looking cheers, forward mate. to seeing you do it. <laughs> Now 
near the finish then and there are these big wide open gravelly turns look at that straight into a rain rut oosh get in <laughs> yeah, that? man. It feels like a sort of ticker tape of all the corners you've ever ridden. Just in one big procession. And there we are, stage finish. Oh, we just got them to do four more of them. Yeah. yeah. Right then, the Queen stage. Yeah. Ruri, anyone new to the Enduro World Series, what's a Queen stage? Queen stage is the toughest, the most iconic, the longest stage of the race. I mean, and Tutti Frutti, this one, well, it's it, certainly that. It's more than that, isn't it? Because it's not just a recognition of the toughest stage. Fastest in this stage, points mean prizes, don't they? Exactly, and we've seen in previous seasons how close the title race can come down to, you know, a mere matter of, you know, 10, 20 points. And if there's 40 up for grabs, if you win this, you've got to go for it. Rich, this is your first time seeing Tutti Frutti Water. Yeah. What's, what's going through your mind? Talk us through it. <laughs> <laughs> it's vast. I'll give you that. You've chosen a hell of a location, haven't you? It's, it's, I mean, it, it, from what we can see, it just disappears over the crest. So I'm expecting pure, flat out alpine wildness. And I'm looking forward to it. Well, winners last time we were here, Isabel Cordurier and Richie Rood managed to take the win on this stage. I'm not for one second suggesting that you two are going to um, put down that kind of performance. I definitely am not, but should we go ahead and try our best to enjoy it? It's oh, hard, hard not to enjoy, yeah. yeah. Right, let's go, come on. being so pessimistic. <laughs> I'm not a pessimist, I'm just <laughs> quite neutral. Dropping into Tutti Frutti then, and oh, we're already going this way, look. There's not going to be one stage beside this one, but this one is going to have a lot to say about the winner of round one of the 2021 Enduro World Series. Oh, golly of doom! Heck of a crosswind up here. surface is super loose. Got to focus on trying to be clean. Any mistake up here is going to spike the heart rate. Couple inside lines here. Link it together a bit better. There's also some hidden rocks to catch your wheels. Whoa. A lot of energy coming back through the trail to the rider. Hitting that sweet spot of Suspension clicks and tyre pressures. The top guys are going to be absolutely no breaking it down here. These corners come race day. They are going to be churned up, rough, breaking bumps. The dirt's changed a little bit. It's getting a bit darker. That means there's more moisture in it. More grip as he slides out. <laughs> I was going to say, my prior knowledge, I know there's a climb here. Okay. Oh, a bit of a cheeky climb then. So three and a half minutes in and Rick, I can hear Rick screaming behind me. That is actual cruelty. It's right where you almost don't want it. But that's what makes EWS, EWS. Rich, firstly, thank you very much for stopping. Uh, <laughs> that was nice of you, but it is important that we do talk about this part of this yep. stage. Tutti Frutti, the name derives from the sort of berries and types of mountain fruit that only exist, apparently, really? at this sort of altitude where the wind meets the hill down into the woods. So Tutti Frutti, important that you uh, understand where the name comes Delicious. from. Delicious. I, I heard you wanted to stop for a bit of a berry break as well. More the of old a, arms are getting on More there. of a sick, yeah. More of a sick Yeah, break. but I might have some berries after. Right, come on, let's crack on. Yeah. 
what makes this so tough is I mean we had a nice lunch and a sit down and we could crazy salad the racers will be well well into their days racing by the time they hit this part of the course I've been under strict and oh he's got the sprint on oh Scandi flicks from the ricks <laughs> yeah. You. Where am I going? Pull back her off a touch. Inside lines. Boom. Yeah. Again. Heavy breaking into this. And back in a little technical section. At this point, heart rate's going to be redlining hands are going to be tired, really struggling to modulate the brakes but yeah, you have to be clinical you can't get sloppy wow. and then these little climbs, so so tough this is it now the final plunge down towards the tiny can of say go on Rich, Lee is home no, not on it bud glorious within touching distance Rich Oh hell! Absolute wide open! Oh my days! Tucked! This trail just keeps on going! Woo! And then down into the bottom. Hello mate. Gentlemen. You're quite comfortable. Well, I've been here a while. <laughs> what do you make of that? Man, what a stage. It's got a bit of everything, doesn't it? It's fast, it's technical, it's physical, it's long, finishes in town. I mean, as stages go, it doesn't get any better. It just doesn't stop swinging at you, does it? It's just constant. Just keeps on coming and coming. It's relentless. It's a relentless stage. And a few of those punchy little climbs really put you uh, put you on the back foot sometimes as well, don't they? Well, we've had a fantastic time here at the Met EWS Val di Fassa Trentino. Don't forget, loads more action to come this week on the Enduro World Series channel right here on GMBN and also on GMBN Tech. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I missed out. <laughs> You'll get there, mate. <laughs> You'll get there, don't worry. It takes yeah. a while. Oh, got, okay. got three weeks. <laughs>